24 hours is up and they've all sunk to the bottom. Take an old tray, fill it with some universal compost. That's what I do anyway. Right, take your uh, rice and seeds out, remembering they're poisonous, so you shouldn't touch them. There you go, they're beauties. Place them on your soil, wherever you want them. That's how I do it anyway. And then I put a centimetre layer of soil on the top. Just about double the thickness of the uh, seeds really. Like that. This is all down. I water them when I get in the house, just a light watering, but I've just watered the soil. And then place a piece of glass on the top. That's all you need, stick it on the windowsill and take for about one or two weeks. Here they are on the windowsill, in the sunlight, with a glass on the top, which is where I leave them. But if you want to speed things up a bit, you can actually put them above a radiator for an hour or two a day which is what I also do when we turn the heating on in the mornings. Now to look how many rice and seeds are doing. I shoved them in this old tray, put a piece of glass on the top. As you can see they're nice and toasty in there. Well they're all steamy anyway. Slide this off, or should I say off? Pour it off, drop it on them. Move that out of the way. Cut those. Funny looking things, really. Hey, these are ricin. Look at them. They were about that size originally, and then they sort of swell up, grow white like that, and shove their roots down. Those pinky red things are their roots, and those things are their pods, I don't know, husks, but they've thrown them off. Really weird plants they are at this stage. Look at them. They, they sort of look like them white chocolate buttons you can eat. You don't want the kids having them, especially as they're deadly. Anyway, they're the roots of pink things. They seem to throw them out and they find their way down. And from memory, the white thing pops open and out come the leaves. There you go. What do you reckon that? Plenty in there. There you go. Two days later, and I've just took off the glass sheet off the top. And you can just see all these what look like milk chocolate buttons are all popping off and the leaves are just starting to unfurl they look like they're dead because they're far from dead they're really strong can you see them and you just pop them white bits off and open the leaves up We've got some really strong plants growing here. Look how my babies are coming on today then. Look at them. Shooting up. There you go, you can see how big they are. 
but some of them still look dead but doing all right really beauties well here they are about ready for potting up going really well you see big thick strong plant and if you look at the center of them they're just starting to take those spiky leaf shapes first they put out two big round ones and then they just end up like that and once they're planted outside they turn ready burgundy colour that's it that's them potted up ready to be planted out about mid-April, end of April, depending on the weather. That's them all. There you go.